welcome to this video. Today I am here to show you the new collection from Light Elegance. This is the old Hollywood collection which is out for um, autumn or fall, however you like to say it. Um, these are a brand new collection of six colours and six glitters as usual for a Light Elegance launch. We get these four times a year. Um, and these colours and glitters are going to be perfect for as the weather starts to change and we go into, I hate to say it, but the slightly colder months once we go into kind of September, October time. Um, but your clients are going to absolutely love them. So let's get straight into the video. I'm going to show you all of the colours, all of the glitters, and I'm going to also show you some of my comparisons as well to colours that I already have so that you can see uh, where they fit into your collection. So let's get into it. I hope you enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do and uh, enjoy the video. So we're gonna start off with the colors from the old Hollywood collection. This collection is made up of some darks, some shimmery metallic colors and also some slightly more vibrant and colorful options as well for you so there's going to be definitely something for everybody in this collection the first color that i'm going to show you is doll face this is a champagne rose gold with a really high shimmer almost a frosted finish i would say but it has definitely got those fine shimmer particles in it as well so it's going to look really pretty on the nails this one i would probably use paired with a slightly darker color um but i think this one will be uh popular for everybody who likes rose gold which let's face it i think everybody loves rose gold at the minute i don't have anything i like this so i don't have anything to compare it to unfortunately it's one of a kind the second colour I'm going to show you is called I'd Like to Thank the Academy and this is a dark teal. Uh, it's in between that kind of greeny bluey colour uh, and this I'd say this is my second favourite I think from the collection. I do like my greeny blue colours um, but there's another one coming up that I think I like just a tiny bit more. but. I have paired this with Don't Be Chai. You can see the colours, the tone of them is very similar, but obviously I'd like to thank the Academy is far darker than Don't Be Chai. So it's a perfect choice for the cooler months. Um, and I Don't Be Chai is, I Don't Be Chai. Don't Be Chai is one of my most popular colours. So I'd like to thank the Academy, I'm sure is gonna be another popular one. Our next colour is Furs and Dames. This is really beautiful. It's it's actually when you first look at it, you just it just looks like a chocolate brown to be honest, with a bit of a shimmer through it. But when you move the jar, you get a lot more um, depth coming through the colour. So as you move it, you kind of get a maroon kind of tone coming through the glitter gel, the colour gel. Um, and it just makes it really interesting. I'm not normally one for browns, if I'm honest, but I really like this because of the way that it changes in the light. So um, I'm really interested to see this on a set of nails. Next up is Dress to the Nines, and this is your perfect autumn red. This, oh, now, I said I'd like to thank the Academy was my second favourite. I think I'm going to tie it with this one. Um, I do love reds as we go into autumn, and this one, when I when I saw it before I received it, I thought it was just a just kind of mid, um, you know, middle red, not too dark, not too light. Um, but I didn't really think that much of it, if I'm completely honest. However, now that I have it, I absolutely love it. It's got and I don't know whether you'll be able to see it on the camera because this is what I didn't realise before I got it. It's actually got a really, really fine gold shimmer through it. It's really pretty. Um, so I'm really liking this colour. So this is definitely going to be one potential for my nails. Um, I have compared it to Pour Me A Kiss and Perfect Set. Now, Pour Me A Kiss is definitely darker. Um, and it's got slightly chunkier shimmer through it, although it 
you know, it's not chunky glitter through it, but just the, the bits of shimmer are slightly bigger than, than Dress to the Nines. It's very subtle in Dress to the Nines. And then Perfect Set is more of a, it's a slightly brighter classic red, whereas the Dress to the Nines has got a bit more of a maroony tone to it. Um, so it's perfect for the autumn. Our penultimate colour is Starlet, and this is going to be one for all of you ladies who love your pinks, um, and also purples, if you like pinks. Um, I love purples, but I'm not a pink person for my own nails. I love it on everybody else, but I wouldn't wear it myself. Um, but this is a bit too pink for me, but I know my customers are going to absolutely love it because they love the vibrant pinks. This is, I would call it a dark magenta. Um, it's definitely an autumn pink uh, and it's got more of a purpley blue tone to it. I've compared it to Ellie Rocks because Ellie Rocks has got that purpley shimmer through it but you can see when they're next to each other they are completely different, they don't look anything alike. Um, so Starlet is definitely something completely different to anything else that certainly I have in my collection. And the last in the colour collection is my favourite. It's the Silver Screen Beauty. And this is, I just love this colour. It's, I would say it is a mushroomy plum. I don't even know if that makes any sense. I hope you kind of understand. You get the gist roughly of what I'm trying to say. Um, it, I kind of thought it might be like Puddle Play when I saw the previews of it, but as you can see the comparison, it's much, much darker and it's got a lot more grey taupe to it. Um, I also paired it next to Couple Ambition because it's kind of a darker purple, but you can see it's much darker and it's a lot more purple than Silver Screen Beauty. Looking at it next to these colours, it makes Silver Screen Beauty look quite grey, but it's definitely not grey. Um, it's definitely more of that purpley mushroomy tone. So anyone that likes uh, Puddle Play, Rosy Posy, Earl Grey, all those kinds of muted colours are gonna love this colour. So I am very excited to get this on my nails. This is the first colour I am gonna be wearing from this collection. That's all of the colours. So I'm now gonna get straight into the glitter gels. And I'm going to kick off with the one that everybody has been waiting for, and that is Betty Davis, which is a proper, true rose gold glitter gel. Everyone's been after it. Been using French press for the last six months. While everyone's been asking for a rose gold, that's kind of the nearest that we've had to it. And uh, to be fair, I've always thought French press was a pretty decent rose gold, but when you compare it next to Betty Davis, Betty Davis is is your proper real rose gold. It's got that rosy tone through it. Um, so you can see the difference next to it. French press is definitely a lot more of the champagne gold tone through it. Um, and I've also just popped the rose gold sugar there as well so you can see the difference. Um, rose gold sugar, I would say it's got a bit more of a coppery rose gold tone. Um, whereas Betty Davis is your true rose gold. Up next is Sophia, and this is definitely my favourite glitter gel from this collection. I absolutely love it. Um, it's got a gold champagne base, and then all through the gel you've got bits of rose gold and then chunky bits of blues and purples and I just love the combination of the different um, colour glitters through this gel so um, I'm really looking forward to trying this with lots of different colour combinations and uh, I think this is going to be a really fun one for autumn. I've shown Sophia next to Glam um, it doesn't look anything like Glam. Glam is definitely more cool toned, it's got a bit of that silveriness through it, but um, it's the only real kind of similar goldy colour that I have, so I thought I'd at least show you it next to that one so you can see the difference between them. Up next is Miss Hepburn, and this is definitely my second favourite glitter of the collection. Um, I absolutely love it. Again, it's got those green, greeny blue tones that I really like. 
Um, it is basically a peacock feather in a glitter gel. I absolutely love it. It's got greens, turquoises, indigos. Um, it's a really interesting glitter and it's unlike anything else that I have. I've paired it next to After Midnight because there is some indigo flecks through it that are, they do look the same as After Midnight, but obviously After Midnight has got more of the blues and the purple tones mixed with that. Whereas Miss Hepburn, as I say, is more of those peacock blues and greens um, in addition to that indigo color. Up next for all you pink lovers, we have Judy Garland, which is a holographic bright pink glitter gel. What more do you want from a glitter gel if you love pink? Not a lot. So this one is a holographic bright pink. I've shown it next to Red Rose, Besties and Edgy. Uh, Red Rose, I felt maybe the tone was more similar, although Red Rose is definitely darker. Besties is definitely a little bit brighter and it's obviously more of a flat glitter. It doesn't have the holographic effect through it. Um, edgy, I thought it might be a little bit like Edgy because Edgy is slightly holographic, but Judy Garland is way more holographic than Edgy and um, it's more of a blue toned pink. So this one is gonna look really nice with um, Starlet um, and Ellie Rocks, I think it will look really nice with as well. Up next we have a very special glitter gel called Grace Kelly and this is basically like a Swarovski crystal in a jar. Um, this was actually a request from somebody on our UK Nails United page which is run by Light Elegance UK. Um, any nail technician can request to join that group so feel free to get involved. Um, but somebody on there requested a glitter gel that reflected like Swarovski crystals and this is what they came up with. So Grace Kelly is a light pink transparent base and then it has the iridescent pieces through it to really reflect and sparkle all those different colours. It is basically like a pink version of Radiant. Is my if you get if you have Radiant, the easiest way to understand it is that it's a pink version of it. Um, it's much. Um, I mean, you can see looking at them next to each other um, that they are very similar. They've got those big chunky pieces. I would say Grace Kelly has got slightly more of the chunky pieces in it. Um, and it's kind of, I would say it's kind of a mixture between Radiant and Be In Your Bonnet. And Be In Your Bonnet has been by far our most popular glitter out of any of the Light Elegance glitter gels, which is saying something. <laughs> um, we, we only came out in the last collection and we have almost finished that jar and I have never finished a jar of Light Elegance colour or glitter gel. So um, Grace Kelly is gonna fly out. Everyone is gonna love it. You need this in your life. And last but definitely not least, we have Joan Crawford, which is, it's a glitter gel, but it is completely different to anything else that certainly I've seen. Um, it's rather than glitter pieces, it's almost like little pieces of chopped up gold foil. Um, I just absolutely love it. I think the texture it gives on the nail just looks so different to anything else. You can, I would say you would be able to use this a couple of different ways. You can either use it as a full cover over the whole nail um, and it gives you that really interesting textured effect over the nail. Um, or you could apply it thinly so that you can see more of the colour underneath. So you could apply it over, I'd like to thank the Academy, Furs and Dames, and you'd still see that colour coming through from underneath, but you'd get those really um, cool little gold pieces over the whole nail. So I'm really looking forward to trying this one. Um, and I think it's going to look really good with lots of different, I'm seeing it with darks, but also with more of the nudes and the neutrals as well. I think it's going to be a really versatile one. It's going to be one of those that I think you're going to have to kind of, your clients are going to have to see it on. Um, I know I've got some colours or glitters that very rarely use them, but if I'm wearing it, everybody wants it. And this is going to be one of those. So get it on your nails and your clients are going to be asking and begging for this one. 
So that's it. That is the brand new old Hollywood collection from Light Elegance, the colors and the glitters. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you received these gels, let me know what you think of them because I've been on holiday and I've not actually had a chance to try these yet. Um, I'm back to work tomorrow, so I'm really looking forward to getting some of these on my customers to see what they really look like. Um, but if you have them, enjoy them. Let me know what you think. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for more soon and I will see you in my next video. Bye!